Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today we're talking about donations and what we're going to do with donations and actually that depends on you guys because that's the feedback we're looking for. We want to know how should we do donations on our server, honestly. Um, I'm not a big fan of giving people items and things like that. In fact, if there was a way we could do it where uh, people all just donated, you know, hey, we all donate, you know, 20 bucks or whatever a month to the server then that would help greatly, you know, pay for the cost of it and things like that. But I, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we want to do that either because we're not going to charge people. There are some people who can't afford it. Uh, and I don't want to, you know, oh, sorry, you can't play our server because you can't afford a small fee. You know, honestly, in my in my shoes, I know I got this server and things like this. This is like kind of a therapy. You know, I, I run these servers. I enjoy doing that. But at the same time, we need to find a way to help pay for the cost of the server, the Internet, power, things like that. Um, so w what's your suggestions? There's, there's a lot of ideas you can go through. One of the ideas, um, that you can do, which I think they do on GTNH is they basically have a server goal. So let's just say if the server hits $150 a month, they get things like teleportation and maybe some buffs or the ability to use ender chest and things like that. Now, personally, almost all of that I'm against, uh, teleportation on our server would basically kill the idea of trains. Yet, you know, a server that works hard to bring in trains into the server like this is a pretty unique server. But you don't get you don't get donations based on how cool or how awesome your server is. Usually only how much you're willing to sell yourself in a sense like soul wise here so if you're willing to cheat be cheat and allow teleportation or uh invisible chests that you can you know put items in and then kill yourself and then go back home and things like that and multiple home points we don't even have a slash home that's to us that's cheating right so that's kind of the that's kind of the pickle we're in and uh even land claiming i mean to be honest think about it why should bob who has no money. Uh, maybe Bob is a caregiver for his spouse. They don't have much money. They're living in poverty. And, uh, you know, he, he can't help with the server, but he's a cool guy. He's friendly and stuff like that. And then Rob, who's an asshole, who's rushing on the server as much as possible. And he doesn't care about anyone. All he cares about is himself, is you know only to be the best on the server even if that is a goal and just unload everything he legs the server he causes constant crashes he's a jerk basically but hey he he has all this land to build on because he has extra money to donate to get more land claims and so i guess when i see it that way it's like there you go like it kind of sucks. It really sucks. And I think even then, like, why why should Bob be, you know, have such a small land claim because he can't afford it? And, you know, you get what I'm saying? So it's it just, it, it's one of those, ah, uh, you know, like, I don't like it, but it's like, I don't know what to do about it because besides the one where everyone benefits, sort of like a server goal where, you know, everyone puts some money towards it, I don't see any other ways. And even then, it's kind of going to be hit and miss because if you do that and say, okay, let's increase the claims for that, you know, the month, right? So I think right now you get 25 chunks or something like that, right? So all of a sudden, if uh, we, we increase that to 100 or 75, it doesn't matter, right? And then the, you know, the following month, people already have those like they i mean unless they de, you know downsize their town and things like that they've already gotten those those chunks right they're not gonna they're not gonna want to all of a sudden do more and I, I think that's kind of the issue there so you know at the same time when you're dealing with chunks and you know those things those are like a one time off kind of donation so there you go. The the players that, you know, let's just say you have 20 dedicated players. They all chipped in. They did it for the first month. That's it. After that, no one will chip in. And so just having the one feature, I mean, the idea is not bad of the, the claiming and, you know, participating, at least new players, you know, people can help out and stuff. But I guess the issue here is more the fact that what are we going to do about... Uh, the month after and the month after how are you going to encourage people to donate because like i said people don't people will not donate unless they get something out of it and it's always usually a personal greed it's not a it's not something that can benefit everyone as in helping pay the servers you know you pay you pay the servers the server stays on and that's actually a funny thing too i could do that as a threat and i know i'd get more donations but that's not me either i don't mind coughing and suffering and you know tighten my belt a few notches kind of thing but that's 
that's that's the kind of the where it usually ends up being and it would be nice to have others contribute the cost of the server and so yeah anyways I'm, I'm hoping to get some ideas and suggestions looking forward to hearing people's response on that if anyone does have any ideas and suggestions because you know, honestly, it's like almost like I wish, you know, somebody is like, hey, I make, you know, like $150,000 a year. Here's here's a couple hundred bucks a month. As long as I'm playing this server, you guys are set. You know, it's like, oh, that's what you need, an investment person. There you go. But, you know, usually that has bad things, bad baggage. You know, they want something out of it, you know, things like that. It's not they want a, a stable server or an awesome server to play on. They, they always want more than what you're offering. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm looking for suggestions, advice, even if it's horrible and I don't, you know, it's not something I agree with or whatever. If you like to suggest something anyways, I'm interested in, it's a funny he lags usually when he goes over that point. Isn't that weird? I noticed. Um, this is probably my internet, not the server's internet. The server is on actually dedicated fiber. For me, on the other hand, I'm going through a wireless radio that goes about a kilometer away, so... <laughs> It might just be that, but it always seems to happen at that one point. Anyways, yes, I want to hear your opinions, suggestions, ideas from some other servers you played with, things you liked, things you don't like. You know, I just I'm just looking for a discussion. If you want to join our Discord and discuss it there, that'd probably be better in our Minecraft channel. The link is in the description. But if you don't want to, you can just do it in the the comments here on uh, YouTube, but uh, basically it's just, what can we do? What can we do to encourage it? You know, how do we encourage it every month? You know, it's just, it's one of those things is like, you know, how can we do this? You know, like I spent, you know, in total, I haven't t tallied the bill, but it's probably what, a good 2,500 with the backup drives in that, that server of ours. We, we, we basically spent 2,500 on it. And uh, then there, you know, like I said, hydro and internet does cost as well. And uh, I would like to do some other things. I like put it on a little bit of an APC backup. So it kind of have its own battery buffer and things like that. Um, and I, I, I also want to grow things. You know, if we can continue doing this, even getting a bit here and there, that trickles in and I can support more things. Like my, my goal is even if, you know, we, you know, six months from now, some of us are bored and we don't want to play this, but we're interested in something else. And then all of a sudden, you know, maybe there's a big chunk of people who are interested in something else. We don't have to say, hey guys, we have to turn down off this server because we want to play another game. And that's one reason why we bought this, you know, heavy duty server with multiple threads and pretty good core performance per thread because we wanted the ability to run more than one server at a time on the box and so that's something that we want to do and I would love to grow to another server I, at the end of the year I would like to buy one more server so we have two of them to work with and if possible maybe even three but that depends if you know you know it depends on how some stuff go and a lot of that's going to be out of my own pocket too right but the idea is i'm hoping you know even if it's years down the road it pays for itself it's a sort of an investment in you guys to to have an awesome community to do things like this but anyways uh i just want to hear your suggestions your thoughts on that uh and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading them and hearing from them. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. And yeah, this is our little train here at Spawn. We're doing another project over here. This is, uh, we put this in here and this is going to be uh, an update program that goes and mass up, updates all the uh, different uh, bunkers around the world. So this is going to be a really cool thing eventually when it gets going. I guess Electro cut this open. I'm not sure what he did with this differently because... He may, might have not known where the lines were here, actually. That might have been the case. I'm not sure if he knew, because I did cover it up, and he probably had to dig it up just to see. But anyways, oh, you know what? He probably actually had to get to the computers, because he probably had to copy all their IDs. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah, he has all the computers exposed, so he probably used the tool to grab all the IDs. But anyways, yeah, so thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I'm looking forward to your feedback, your suggestions, your ideas. Um, the server's going good. We're still working on that. Electrobot is hoping maybe this weekend, uh, or by the end of this weekend even, to finish the code off. Uh, I'm hoping he can do it a little bit more. Not to say we want to launch right away, but at least that way we can take a couple days off and, you know, make sure things are tested well and 
that way we can say hey you know maybe by next weekend or even maybe middle of next week you know even on a tuesday or a wednesday or whatever we can launch the server uh, one of the things is i don't want to launch the server right on a friday night honestly i'm not i'm not a big fan of that in fact i'd like to launch it early in the morning one day say you know 10 or 11 or even noon one day when you know most people are working when they're busy things like that um kind of the idea there is that way you know it's got some time make sure nothing goes bad you know things are fine uh, but also depends on my friend you know if he's working till six or seven and i'm going to bed in like a couple hours you, you kind of have an issue there you know both electro and i put a lot of time in here but one thing is you know oh, i'm just making sure there's nothing bad here <laughs> i'm like oh crap i didn't mean to open the chat you know one thing is you know we don't want uh you know, I don't want Electro to be missing out all day because he's at work, but also I'm sure, well, actually, I don't know. I'd assume he would want me been missing out all night because well, I'm sleeping. So <laughs> we'll have to see if we can come up with a compromise or a day that works for both of us. Maybe that ends up being a, a weekend. Maybe that ends up being a Sunday or something. Maybe it'll be a, a week plus yet. But anyways, we'll come up with something and we'll let you know when we got more of a solid date. Either way, we hope you guys will give us some suggestions, feedback, comments on donations. I try to run a very transparent server. I've given transparency on every level um, on, the, on uh, what do you call it, on GitHub. I've even given out the server specs, each part, things like that. So um, hopefully you guys uh, you know, do like our transparency. We're not here to steal people's money. We're not here to make money off of anybody. We're here to use that money and put it back into the community as in our server costs, things like that. And uh, it's not used for my Pepsi Max at night. That was always a joke we did back in the day. And I, I used to say that all the time. I said, oh yeah, I mean, you guys pay me in Pepsi to keep running the server, right? It was a fun joke we, we, we did. But honestly, a lot of them, when we made a lot of money back like younger days, uh, a lot of the money actually went back to developers. We actually donated back to other people as well. And that's how we kept our server going, you know. Uh, Minecart Mania and things like that. But anyways, looking for your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.